everyone welcome to day two of 21 days of yoga i am elisa and i am very glad that you're here today today we will be introducing the sun salutation a in our practice and our focus is going to be thoughts so we will be bringing our awareness not only to the physical poses but also to what's going on in our head during our practice and so our brain is naturally negative and that is to protect us this comes to when we used to live in the caves to stay safe our brain needed to be in fight or flight mode however these days even though we are not being chased by a tiger our brain still remains the same and so it is more likely to have negative thoughts than positive ones but the good news is that this can change and that we can change it. Let's get started. Today, we'll start on a child pose. You can keep your knees together, your forehead on the ground and the arms either by your side or at the front. You can separate your knees towards the width of your mat, allowing the belly and chest to melt towards the ground. Here, notice your breath coming in and out through your nose, feeling the air touching your nostrils gently. Feeling the rib cage expanding sideways. Keep breathing. So we may have thoughts coming to let us know how hard or uncomfortable a pose is. Be aware that this is just a thought and instead of feeding it, bring your awareness back to your body, noticing it in ways you don't normally do and breathe through it. Empty the breath and inhale through your nose. Tabletop coming to your force, breathe out. Hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Drop your belly down, look up, inhale for cow. Exhale, cat, creating space in between your shoulder blades. Cow, look up, inhale, bringing your shoulders back. Cat, exhale, navel to the sky. Cow, breathe in, expanding your chest forwards. Cat, breath out and come back to center. Tuck your toes under and allow the seat bones to guide you to down dog. Keep your knees bent and keep breathing through your nose. The hands are a shoulders distance apart or a bit wider and spread your fingers. As you inhale, feel like if you were breathing through the crown of your head all the way up to the tailbone, lengthening the spine. And as you exhale from the tailbone, down through your legs to the ground. Keep breathing. 
and keep tilting those seat bones up. If there's thoughts coming, breathe through them without giving them more attention than simply knowing they are there and that that is okay. One last breath in and little steps to the front of your mat, breathing out. Hands to your shin, flat back, shoulders back, inhale, halfway lift. Forward fold, exhale, belly brushing your thighs. Leave the head heavy and begin to roll yourself up to standing as you breathe. Arms around and above your head, hands together. Bend your knees a little as you fold forwards. Exhale, belly brushing your thighs. Hands to your shin, halfway lift, breath in. Hands to the floor, step back to high plank, breathe out. Keep breathing through your nose. Your hands are under your shoulders and we're going to spread the fingers. Push the floor away and engage the core. Shift the shoulders forwards and drop your knees down. Keep the whole upper body strong and your toes pressing the ground. Begin to lower down to the ground. Keep hugging the elbows towards the midline. Untuck your toes and press the ground with the top of your feet. Suck the belly button to the lower back and begin to peel the chest off the ground, low cobra. Bring the shoulders back as you open the chest. Then lower down to the ground. Press back to tabletop, then to down dog. Little steps to the front of your mat. Halfway lift, inhale, hands to your shin. Forward fold, exhale, relax your head. The head is heavy and roll yourself up to standing. Arms around and above your head, hands together. Forward fold, belly brushing your thighs, breathe out. Hands to the floor and step back to high plank. We'll do the same that we just did, but adding the breath. Shoulders forwards, knees to the ground, inhale. Lower down to the ground, exhaling. Low cobra, breathe in, open your chest. Down dog, breathe out, the seat bones guide you back. Then little steps to the front of your mat. Hands to your shin, halfway lift, breath in, shoulders back. Forward fold, breath out, relax your head. The head is heavy. Roll yourself up as you breathe in, arms above your head and fall forward as you breathe out, relax your head. Halfway lift, breath in, step back to high plank, breath out and keep breathing. This time will have the option to go to upward stock instead of cobra. Remember that with both of those, we press with the top of our feet towards the ground and that up dog has the legs off the ground. 
So your choice. Shoulders forwards, knees down, breath in. Lower down, breathing out. Low cobra or up dog, breathe in. Down dog, breath out. The seat bones guide you back. Little steps to the front of your mat. Hands to your shin, halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold, breath out, belly brushing your thighs. Begin to roll yourself up to standing as you breathe in. Arms around and above your head. Hands to your heart, exhale and stay here. Congratulations, we just learned the sun salutation A. We'll do some standing balance now. We're going to do the three pose. Bring your hands to your hips and begin to shift your body weight to the right side. The left foot can stay on the floor on your toes or bring it below or above your knee. Your legs are active, pressing towards each other. And your hands can go together by your heart if that feels good with you. Find a focus point at the front to stare at and help you with your balance. Steady mind, steady body. Two last breaths in through the nose. And out. In through the nose. And out. Step down. Now we'll mirror this on the other side. Hands to your hips and begin to shift your weight to the left. Option to put your right toes on the floor or to bring the foot below or above your knee. Keep your legs active, pressing gently towards each other. And hands on your hips or by your heart. Find that focus point and breathe. Two last breaths. Inhale through the nose. Empty. In. And out. Step down. Reach up as you inhale. Forward fold, breath out, belly brushing your thighs. Hands to your shin, halfway lift, inhale. Step back, high plank, exhale. And keep breathing. Bring your legs together and engage the core, nice and tight. Right arm to the sky, heels to the left, side plank, and breathe. Option to bring the bottom knee to the ground anytime. Keep pushing those hips up and feel like if someone was pulling you up from the top hand, releasing a bit of pressure from the bottom wrist. One last breath in and hand to the floor table top knees to the ground left arm up inhale thread the needle shoulder to the ground exhale enjoying this yummy twist keep breathing through the nose perhaps noticing the release in your bottom shoulder and arm
inhale through the nose exhale and stay on your next inhale come back to your force tabletop step back to high plank legs together and engage the core nice and strong left arm to the sky heels to the right side plank and breathe keep breathing through your nose option to bring the bottom knee to the ground anytime keep pushing those hips up high 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 feel like if someone was pulling you up from the top hand releasing a bit of pressure from the bottom wrist one last breath in and hand to the floor breathe out tabletop on your fours right arm up inhale thread the needle shoulder to the ground exhale enjoying this jummy twist on the other side keep breathing through your nose perhaps noticing the release in your bottom shoulder and arm inhale through the nose exhale and empty on your next inhale come back to your force tabletop gently we're going to make our way to the ground for locust bars place your forehead on the ground your whole body is facing down palms facing down with the thumbs facing out press with the top of your feet towards the ground including your little toes engage your core and as you breathe in peel the chest off the ground and keep breathing if it's okay you can lift your palms off too externally rotating the shoulders as you point with thumbs out and up option to lift the legs too keep the core strong one last breath in and down to the ground breathe out put one hand on top of each other under your head forehead on them and you can rock your hips sideways to release any tensions from the lower back bring your hands under your shoulders and press yourself back to tabletop and then to down dog Let's take a deep breath in here and little steps to the front as you breathe out and gently sit on the ground boat pose hands under your knees point or flex your feet and expand your chest forwards today we'll add movement to our boat we will inhale here where we are and we will exhale as we lower down go as low as you like but make sure that you can come back up inhale here lower down exhale inhale up exhale down breathe in and up breathe out and down the last one inhale up exhale down to the ground this is nice 
for the last pose today, we have two options. Simply bring your arms under your hips and then lift the legs up straight to the sky. Or we can do a low bridge by keeping the heels under the knees with the fingertips brushing the heels. Then begin to peel your back off the ground, creating a straight line from your shoulders to your knees. Point with the tailbone towards the creases behind your knees and tuck those ribs in, strong core. Three breaths, in through the nose and out. Inhale. Exhale. In. And out, rolling yourself down to the ground. Allow your legs to be straight forward with your feet falling out. Your palms facing up and creating space between your arms and body getting ready for our relaxation shavasana pose resting pose relax everything from the hair of your head to your toes relax There is a quote that I would like you to reflect on today and it is from Amit Ray and it says You are not your thoughts, you are the observer of your thoughts. So remember, you are not your thoughts but the one that hears them.
Gently begin to connect to your breath and bring some movement back to the body by moving your fingers, your toes, bringing your arms above your head for a full body stretch. Being grateful for gifting this time to yourself. Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste. If you like the video and would like to see more, don't forget to subscribe and give thumbs up. It's free. I hope you have a wonderful day and see you soon. Bye.